Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Web Dots. This is continuation part of our graph data structure series and today I am going to discuss minimum spanning tree with Prim's algorithm. In our last session, I have already discussed how Kruskal algorithm works. Okay, so today focus will be on Prim's algorithm with very easy code example. So as you can see on the screen or in this chart, we have covered all the green parts okay and the one which is highlighted which is prims algorithm we will discuss in today's session okay i strongly suggest you to watch all the previous sessions that i have recorded for especially for graph data structure which will really helpful to understand all the further concepts and logic okay so let's move ahead from here before moving ahead, understanding of minimum spanning tree is very important, which I have already explained in my last session. But just to remind you, let me explain one more time. A minimum spanning tree is a tree which is a subset of edges that connect all nodes in a graph without cycle. Okay, it is very important without cycle. And we can also say minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree with minimum cost from all spanning trees available in the graph. Okay, as you can see on the right hand side, we have a graph and there can be different minimum spanning trees, but only one will be accepted, which has lower cost. Okay, so I strongly suggest you to watch my previous video for in detail on minimum spending tree what it is okay and the very important concept related to minimum spending tree is the number of edges in a spanning tree will be seven if the number of nodes is equal to eight okay so you can say the number of edges will be number of nodes minus one so let's move it from here now why minimum spending tree is important I have also discussed this thing as well in my previous session but I am just reminding once again when you need to connect many buildings to telecommunication of course there are various possible connections such as from one building to another using a hub so what is more economical environmental conditions can have serious impact on the cost of investment due to the necessity of crossing a road or even a river or there can be a different instances because of that cost can increase but we should pick the most economical option right so your task is to successfully connect all the buildings to telecommunication cable with the lowest possible cost so how should you design the connection to answer this question you just need to create a graph where nodes represent connectors and edges indicate possible connections then you find minimum spanning tree and that's all so the next question is how you can find the minimum spanning tree there are various approaches to solve this problem including application of kruskal or prims algorithm so as i said earlier kruskal i have already discussed in my previous session so today we will discuss prims algorithm so as you can see on the right side these are the all steps that we used to find a minimum spanning tree which follows the prims algorithm so what actually principal algorithm says it uses two sets of nodes which are disjoint namely the nodes indicate in the mst and the nodes that are not placed there yet okay in the mentioned iterations the algorithm finds an edge with the minimum weight that connects a node from the first group with a node from second group the node of the edge which is not already in mst is added to the set definition looks simple but just to give you more clarity let me write in very simple words so initially we connect the smallest one okay initially connect the smallest one and then always select the connected smallest one so this is the starting point so in this step one if you will focus over here there is a node one if we start from node one okay so you will see we are considering this this is a zero index first node and there are two possible nodes which are connected with node one one is three and one is two so which one is having the lower weight is three okay so our path will be one to two 
okay because it has lesser weight three now in the second part we have selected node one will be there we will start and we will select the three okay why because weight between one to two is three now one to two is selected now our next step is we need to select the minimum weight okay so if we check from node one what is the possible condition is we reach to node three but the weight is five now if we go to node two and you will see from node two we can go to node four and the weight is four so obviously four is the lesser weight than five so then we will select the four okay now you can see here we have selected one two and four now after four we have to check all the possible uh, nodes connected either with four one okay so from four we can see nine weight is there eight is there and five is there so which one is lesser five is lesser so after reaching four we will select one to three okay so now again if we go further after four we can see nine eight so which one is lesser so eight is the lesser one so in the next step we go from four to eight and it contains less weight eight weight is also mentioned here if we go to next step you will see here after eight we can reach one one way we can go to seven node number seven and the weight is 20 okay and here weight is 12 so we cannot connect three to four because it will form a cycle and cycle is not allowed in the minimum spanning tree so we should avoid this one now we have selected the node 5 so if you will consider after 5 what step we will take what is the minimum weight uh, with all the nodes which are in neighbor so you can see 4 is there so we will go to node 6 then after that node 7 is here we will go to node 7 because after 4 5 is the greater weight okay in uh, accepting all the nodes that's how it is explained here so we have already seen uh, the diagram that presents a minimum spanning tree prints algorithm and if you will compare this one from Kruskal algorithm what Kruskal algorithm says we will start from the lowest weight edge okay so if you will consider this sample if you can recall my last session where we start from 1 which is 5 to 8 and then onwards we pick the next one which is 2 to 3 and then 2 to 4 and then 6 to 4 in this way we were moving ahead but here once we started we are not leaving that node without connection and we are checking all the possible lesser weight node okay so that's how we are moving in this so to avoid a cycle and edge is ignored yes we did that and the algorithm chooses the right edge at the end the number of edges in the MST is 7 the number of nodes is equal to 8 so it means that the algorithm can stop operating and MST is found. Now let's take a look at C# -sharp implementation. The best way to explain is through an example. I will create a generic weighted bidirectional graph and to represent the graph we'll use the important classes like this. You can see weighted graph node we will use and that contains several properties, a weighted edge we should have because we want to operate on the weighted bidirectional graph okay they will be from two to manage the edge and its weights and we will use a weighted graph that contains all these methods in previous one i discussed minimum spanning tree cruciscal and in this session we will discuss minimum spanning tree prims okay so I will perform all these actions which are required. So let's jump into the Visual Studio to check all these things in action. So this is my Visual Studio and I am using the same solution that I was using in my all previous recorded session. And this uh, solution is simple ASP.NET Core application and it's blank application. And I started writing and adding classes here. Okay, you can run it and we are writing all the output to the response okay so you can see all classes created which i used in my previous sessions but our focus in this session will be completely on weighted generic graph okay 
as I shared earlier, we have three sections. One is the weighted graph node structure, one is the edge structure, and one is the graph structure. I strongly suggest you to go to the first two sections to watch the uh, last recorded session. That will be very, very helpful for you. And we will focus here in this session is especially the minimum spanning tree section. Okay, and how we are running this solution? So as you can see earlier, I explained the minimum spanning tree cruciscal greedy algorithm. And I have commented all these and created a new region so that I have added the new piece of code which represents the minimum spanning tree. So it is very simple. All piece of code is available on GitHub and the link is given in the description of this video. So no need to worry about the piece of code. Okay, you can take it and it's completely free. And I strongly suggest you to do as much as practice, do as much as practical with this piece of code and use it if it uh, if it can really help you in any way okay so and, and very easy so you if you want to test any of the section you just comment other sections and uh, uncomment only the one that you really want to use okay i hope uh, i mean these instructions are helpful to use this solution okay so uh, what we are doing here simply we are creating a graph initializing okay then we are uh, printing the graph especially the adjacency uh, list implementation okay and uh, we are showing the minimum spanning tree and what are the nodes covered under print algorithm result can be same as the cruciscal algorithm but the way we are selecting the nodes and edges is different from cruciscal algorithm okay if i talk about the minimum spanning tree if i go there hit f12 from my keyboard in visual studio so before explaining all these four parts let me explain uh i mean what is actually required so we need to build the graph so if i hit f12 from here we will go to this graph weighted generic graph okay and we are initializing a new graph okay and we are specifying either it is a directed or weighted okay so we can see it is not directed it means it is bi-directional and is weighted yes it is a weighted graph okay and then we are creating a weighted graph nodes okay it is a method mentioned in the weighted graph class okay and then we are adding the edges for example node 1 node 2 and this is the weight so this is a from node and this is a to node in the same way we have added all these nodes total number of eight nodes and their associated weights we have added in the graph so if you will see for one of them okay add edge method is here so we are creating source destination and then according to the weighted one according to the directed one we are adding all these things okay so it is clear we are building the graph for printing as i said earlier it's an agency list presentation we are calling a two string method of the graph so here is the one how we are implementing the adjacency list okay you can take a look you can take a code and then you can understand in a better way okay okay now this is the last one minimum spending tree so let's move here okay so in this section uh, you can see what is really required is the indexer of this particular class which is our weighted graph okay we have created this type of uh, property here so we can perform the all, all the indexing operations on this okay second so to implement minimum spanning tree function so what initially we are doing we are creating a previous integer array with the length of the nodes available okay and we are setting the first index which is zero of previous integer array is minus one okay this is first step especially only for minimum spanning tree prims algorithm okay on the second we are creating a minimum weight okay because every time we need to select the node which contains a minimum weight only okay so this is the second integer array and again we are creating the length its node count equal okay now there's a fill method fill method is uh, nothing doing very special thing we are passing the value and these this value is will be assigned to this uh, minimum weight array so all the values of minimum weight integer array will be equal to integer max length or you can say max value let me uh, go through you so you can see we just specify type not we are not using t we are using q that's fine 
so it's a generic type of array we created here it's a value and we are loop through each okay and then assigning the value that we are receiving in each element of this array okay very simple uh, nothing special we are doing here so once the minimum weight array is initialized so we are initializing the first index is equal to zero I mean in terms of value similarly this is of integer type it is of boolean type we are creating a third uh, boolean array is in MST so we are checking either it is already covered in minimum spanning tree or not and again we are filling all the values of is in MST to false okay now we have three arrays okay two of integer one is from boolean now the for loop it is very very important one we are looping through from one to the number of nodes available in the graph okay then we are getting the minimum weight index so this is another very important method of this class if you will go there okay so what we are receiving we are receiving the weight okay and here we are checking is in MST or not so very first time when it will come here so we are setting the initial value minimum value is the integer max value and minimum index is zero okay and we are looping through for all the nodes okay and we are also checking because we have initialized is an in MST initially okay and weights uh, we are getting as an input initially it will be zero right and if it is less than that definitely this condition will be true in very first time and by default all the values in is in MST is false so it will become true so this condition will be true for first time so minimum value is we will be weight of i i is equal to zero so weights of zero is equal to zero okay and the minimum index will be zero so first time it will receive zero okay in the same way it will loop through for all the values that we have then if we get the so after running this function we will get the zero we will pass the zero index is in minimum mst and setting its value true okay so we got the first we got the start uh, from where and we set its value true yes it is in mst now okay now there is a further loop where from this indexer we are getting this minimum weight index will work as a from and this j will work as a to node so for after completing this node we will loop we will create a result list of weighted edge and in that we are looping through from one to i number of uh, nodes available in the node count okay and then again we are fetching the edges and just adding into result it is a pretty straightforward code that you can easily understand and as i said earlier code is available for you so i will remove the breakpoint from here and i will run this solution let's have a look to the output so here is the output so this is the so here is the expected output so as you can see this is the first adjacency list implementation okay and this is the second minimum spanning tree okay so you can see initially we selected three five four one four five and eight and the node selection is two three four five six seven eight okay so it is exactly same that we were expecting okay i hope you like this video if you have any question any suggestion you can leave into the comment box okay and don't forget to subscribe so let's go back to the presentation from where we came here okay okay so let's move ahead from here so now uh, you can see we started from one because if you will see the output of the result okay the program that we have executed we start from one we pick the two so two is here from one to two because weight is three and then we pick one to three because it is in our array because ideally in the second step we choose from two to four but it is in the array that's why it is coming in the adjacency list like this but you can modify accordingly but it has selected all the nodes that we have covered okay so it is one uh, node is here one to two one to three okay and two to four okay and then two to four and then it is showing eight to five which is the next minimum one okay and it contains 5 to 6 5 to 7 okay so in this way uh, how a uh, prince algorithm work for the minimum spanning tree i hope you like this video if you have any suggestion any comment you can leave into the comment box i will try to reply on that as soon as possible and don't forget to like and subscribe 
and in the next video we will discuss coloring or you can say we would ship map in graph with very simple coding till then bye bye